Right, so, hello, this is the first video of my um, the blog aids layout. I was planning on starting the video in earlier, but um, we only just managed to get a camera. Um, so I've already been working on the layout for a couple of months. Um, it's a it's 12 foot long, 3 foot wide, so 12 by 3 double gauge layout um, based on uh, colliery workings. Um, initial plan was just to have a, an out and back kind of layout to the colliery workings and back to, to the depots. Um, but in the end, we decided to run an outer loop um, so that we can have some um, larger diesel engines. Um, so it's based around the crossover time between steam and diesel, so it'll be both both types running. Um, <coughs> so in this this corner over here, we've got a um, small turntable which I've designed and made. It's not wired up yet, um, but we've got a um, what is it, 270 mil hole through the baseboard just to um, so a small six volt motor on the bottom. And just allow locos to turn and go up into the engine sheds or servicing depots. And we're going to have a canal area around where the paints are there. And down off this Y point goes to a small goods area where coal could be transferred to the to the barges. And going back, and a few points there, three, four, four points over there, and down on this branch line here, we'll be down into the colliery then. area here is for the Weybridge or to bypass the Weybridge. Uh, you can see I've started on some scenery and grass. A static grass machine arrived today so hopefully it'll look a bit better once you've used some of that. Uh, over a double slip. And then you've got four sidings there um, where the college screens will go over to um, put the call into the wagons. Or back through wide point and then this is going to be the siding for the falls. And this side in here is going to be for the colliery engine shed. Now, colliery building wise, we um, couldn't find anything that thought would suit the needs, so we went to the National Coal Museum over near Wakefield and they've uh, scratch built a set of screens for the far tracks and the winding gear. Um, show you that in a, in a later video because it's all packed away at the moment. Um, but it, it, it looks quite nice with, with the layout. Head back onto the main oval, and then we've got a pass inside in here, and the only point motor that's above the baseboard due to the joist below it. And um, coming off this point here, we're going to have a diesel fueling yard for I've got a backman class 20 and a class 25 up to now. Yeah, it's got, um, what have we got? We've got 15 point motors, I've made a small control panel there for the point motors. All seem to work right. It took a lot. It took a long time to do wiring. I've uh, never really done anything like this before. Did have a uh, layout when I was younger, about twenty years ago. Um, but for the last few years, I've been really into racing bikes, uh, pedal bikes, racing. Um, but I've fractured both of my hips within the last eighteen months. Um, so I've had to give that up now. Um, so I decided to start doing things which I think used to make me happy. Um, so we've moved back into to model railways. It's been a lot of work though. Um, ballasting took 19 hours last weekend. Wiring took me weeks before that. Um, but we feel like we're getting there. Everything seems to be working. Um, and today's task we're going to be um, <coughs> building a, a tunnel. And the idea is to start a tunnel here with a um, double tunnel entrance around here. And then it's going to be a single tunnel entrance here. Um, so trains can go through the double tunnel and carry on around the back in the tunnel. Or they can come out of the tunnel here into the branch line for the coal mine workings. And it's going to be a vertical rock wall all the way along here to kind of enclose the, the coal mine. And then, then over there there will be a single tunnel entrance or exit for the main track to come back out. Not going to keep the camera running while we're doing it all, but I'll put it on and show different <coughs> different parts of it when they've been completed. I think. So here's some of the kit I've got to build the tunnel and the retaining walls with. 
And then we'll start off over here. And we've got some of the um, wooden scenics uh, tunnel portals. So the stone cut ones, so that's a double, two singles. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is has been cast from plaster parrots using the wooden scenics uh, moulds. I've got some of the the rock face. It should come out quite well. I've made twelve of those up to now, <laughs> which took most of the last last night. Um, and then I've got six of these woodland scenics tunnel linings, um, which are pretty impressive as well. See, so, you know, the moulds are quite cheap, and then plaster Paris, you can pick it up pretty much anywhere, can you? Um, hopefully, it's going to go together quite well. Just about to start building a um, wooden structure uh, using twenty by twenty five mil wood strip um, and stick the plaster of Paris onto the wooden structure um, using and we've got some plaster cloth as well and then some chicken wire and plaster cloth for the top um, so we'll just, just see how we get on <laughs> right hello again so after a full afternoon's work um, it's now dark outside managed to uh, make a structure to form the tunnel and the rock cutting around um, as you can see it's well up to now it's probably about six foot long and um, so it's made out of 20 by 25 mil uh, pine which has been screwed and glued together and then screwed and glued to the baseboard and the backboard um, but it's like really sturdy <laughs> so it should, should be ample to do a job um, double tunnel opening there Single tunnel open there, rock cutting all along there, and then in this corner here, I have to do it tomorrow now because it's too late, but it's going to have a kind of triangular piece, and then the other single tunnel opening for coming out of the tunnel will be there. Thinking about having a, a village on the top, possibly a, a campsite as well, um, some allotments and maybe some farm animals and things like that that's what the wife wants anyway so we'll see um, but yeah it's been a, a full full afternoon <laughs> so carry on again tomorrow after we've been to see some trains in the morning and then see where we get to okay so here's all the wooden framework rough framework completed um, which will now be covered in plaster cloth just hopefully <laughs> to create quite a stable structure two pieces, no the piece here and this piece here which are going to be joined together um, will be able to be lifted up for access to the tunnel with it being what, like eight, nine foot long um, so otherwise it would be quite hard to clean a track or get it derailed and drains etc. It still seems quite sturdy so it should, it should be quite good once it's covered in cloth. So it's been a busy day today um, started with the bare framework for the tunnel. You managed managed to um, use the plaster bandage um, and create a landscape pretty much. Um, looks fairly good. Just need to fit the tunnel um, entrances and a few of the tunnel liners now, and then glue or attach all of the rocks onto the back cutting wall. Um, give you a quick look at it though, just to see what it's looking like up to now. Um, so this is just um, plaster bandage um, and newspaper underneath. Um, so obviously this is where the double tunnel entrance is going to go. Um, coming round to the single entrance exit towards the mine area. This wall here is where all the rock, rock faces are, are going to be attached. Um, it's just smooth plaster bandage, well not smooth, but um, plaster bandage for now your way down and then round into the back of the mine we wanted to get the effects that uh, the mine had been scooped out of the out of the um, out of the landscape um, so I think it's done pretty good at creating that and um, the, the tracks are for the sidings here which had laid we just decided to just plaster over them and to give the effect that they just really almost went into into the hillside needs a lot of tidying up around there um, be able to do that once we've painted painted the um the background and then this is the single tunnel exit for the main line to come back out of 
So that's that for now. I'm gonna go and paint the tunnel liners and then get the tunnel tunnel faces on um, and then show you the final update for today. So the last update for today and the last for this little video blog. Um, tunnel liners and tunnel mouth openings are fitted now um, using um, epoxy resin which seems to have done the job um, here's one to show you just need painting obviously as you can see in there in this light but there is a tunnel liner in there <laughs> and then <laughs> can you wait back single one and the double one and just to see what it looks like a quick running video with a um, Backman class The lid's still off. You don't see inside it. So that's that. Next plan is stick the other rock mouldings on. Um, that's just grab one here and show you what roughly what it's going to look like. So we've got these bigger ones, which are going to go all along here. Ah, one key thing actually, you'll be able to see the join line here. Now these two six foot boards are designed to split into two for transportation. We mentioned moving house soon, so. All the electrics underneath and everything will just split into two, so that's why there's a join line there, separate blaster. Um, but these rocks are going to look like this, and then we picked up some of the rock mouldings before from um, Hobbycraft, which are just smaller rock outcroppings. So they'll go above it in a random pattern, and then there'll be um, grass, static grass, so it's that longer field grass, um, etc. We'll fill any gaps in around it. Um, and it'll also be having one there on the angled wall and be one, two, etc. all the way down to the end where the coal mine sits so hopefully well, I'll let it dry for probably 48 hours with the amount of water and plaster that's on there maybe stick these on Tuesday and maybe paint it midweek hopefully we'll be done for next weekend then Right, well thanks for watching anyway. Bye for now.